What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another How to Play. Today, I want to talk about Mark Tyner's Life Recovery Girl deck that he took to a fourth place finish at the Kansas City RLE. What this video is going to do is basically we're going to do a quick snapshot of the deck list so you guys can see that while I describe what Recovery Girl does. And then we'll talk about the strategies and tactics implored inside this deck. And then at the very end, we'll do a quick deck list recap once again and talk about the cool things that I, that I might have missed. So, Recovery Girl is a 5 hand size 30 health character with good life. We're playing our life water. She says, first form, gain 2 health. Um, and then after you take damage uh, from an attack, you're going to build any of the cool foundations you want from your discard pile to your uh, stage ready. And then lastly, she can destroy 2 foundations to give any attack in the game throw. So, um, really, really awesome. Uh, the strategy kind of involved around this deck is she's a slow and steady defensive grindy deck um, She her goal is to play the biggest longest game possible slowly whittling you down and Because of that she has to have a lot of health um, that form to gain two health as well as a lot of damage reduction And some really awesome blocking says that sometimes it feels like this character um, Not only uh, has 30 health, but has closer to 60 or 90 health feels very very strong um and because it is a war of attrition being able to guarantee that every attack in the game that she plays hits by destroying the two foundations and then bringing that back in and then reusing her powerful foundations the, the ones that say um destroy or flip or are, are sometimes keyed as once per game because it's tough to get those resources back after after using them she doesn't she doesn't care she's just gonna build them right back in it feels very very strong um so let's uh let's look at the bombs right uh first and foremost uh uh different from the other life uh uh, uh recovery girl decks mark's playing uh meteor shower um if i have a momentum which i probably grabbed doing during um one of my previous attacks i'm going to discard that to grab a copy from me for my discard pile and put in my momentum and then i can discard a card from my hand to pick up my meteor shower they this attack this foundation i have i'm gonna put it in my discard pile because i'm gonna be allowed to build it in later and now it's an attack it's another it's a four high for five but if i want to i can destroy two foundations make it a throw guarantee you take your three damage and then i'll 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 have it momentum so the next turn i had that same meteor shower really really cool meteor shower loops here um, we've got Naval Laser Beam, which is like a 5 mid for 8 in this character that unflips some really awesome uh, key pieces instead of being forced to build them back in um, uh, using her response. You can just like use them and then un uh, use a momentum to, to unflip them. And the last bomb that I want to talk about is just Carbo Loading. Carbo Loading basically says that um, any move that you decide to make a throw, you can slap an extra 3 damage on using uh, this 3 difficulty foundation or any other 3 difficulty foundations that exist inside of the deck. And so that feels that feels pretty good. Uh, and there's enough life gain both on your turn and their turn that you can commit it, re-ready it on your turn, use it again, gain health on their turn, and then push it back up. That feels pretty good. Um... Let's talk about some defensive tactics. Um, Mark was playing a lot of uh, on block tricks, things like uh, things like wall cling, things like face shield, saying, "Hey, I, I that that move is scary, and I don't want to take anything from it." Um, a lot of the other uh, life decks that we saw are playing just a ton of damage reduction, but um, having things like wall cling, face shield to like like you know that doesn't hit me at all, as well as recovery time, saying after you take five or more, you'll gain four health back up, and like not even necessarily caring about blocking. Um, uh, this this stops a ton of uh, 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 on block abilities. Truthfully, this stops other recovery girls. So in the mirror match, this feels really really strong. Wall cling face shield, incredible incredible pieces. Um, and then he was playing uh, a ton of disruption, right? Um, uh, lost in thought, clearing out their best pieces, and he was able to build his back in. Young hero saying commit uh, to uh, stop. Uh, defensive pieces on my opponent's turn if my opponent ever went to deadlock i would flip and add two cards in their card pool making my attack strings that much more potent or if they were attacking me i could flip and shove two in and now your attack turn is over um a lot of disruption in in mark's deck onto the flow of the deck we had things like passing the torch and new training method um new training method being able to add those really cool block tricks to our hand after we check them as well as building in cool foundations a really cool thing we get to do with new training method and recovery girl is if i have a foundation in my hand that i want to have in my stage for next turn i can be get hit by a move build in new training method new training method said after it's built i take the card from my hand and i, I slam it down it feels very good to, to slam the last foundation in my hand passing draw two new cards it feels very strong 
And then things like Muscle Mauler, um, destroy one of my face down used foundations, draw one card, add a card for my momentum to my hand. It's a really quick uh, uh, plus one. And then if you have more health than your rival, which Recovery Girl is going to be scaling that health right back up um, and keeping herself as vital as possible, this six diff becomes a five diff, uh, which feels super, super strong. So as we come back to, uh, as we come back to, uh, uh, Mark's list. We've got things like zero gravity lift and overhead reversal that are throws themselves. So we don't have to utilize the resources to destroy the foundations in order to do it. But if we do, we've got cool foundations like a precious lesson to rebuild them back in. Um, you've got things like um, wild wild pussy cats and and full on attack mode being being huge. Of like, I'll destroy this. My moves get a little bit uh, uh, scarier. And then we've got really cool panic buttons, things like adorable telepath and uh, lost in thought, terrifying injury to say, oh, I need a snap block right now. Well, I will adorable telepath to pick this one up. I will uh, terrifying injury, make this thing slow. I'll draw a card. I can block really quick. Not to mention just like ruthless mockery, a card we didn't talk about. All your attacks get minus two damage. It feels very good if my opponent tries to string out on me. I'll just build, 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 build. So with that, Congrats again to Mark Tyner for his fourth place finish at the Kansas City RLE. Um, if you liked this video and you want to see more like it, I've got others on the channel. Let me know down in the comments down below. With that said, you guys, thank you much for watching. And as always, I wish you well.